America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing the ongoing struggles in the Western theater. As 1781 opened, Colonel George Rogers Clark's unbroken string of successes had greatly annoyed British officials and Sir Frederick Haldeman, the Governor General of the Province of Quebec, wanted Clark dealt with once and for all. Haldeman recruited Joseph Brandt, a talented Mohawk from New York, and the most successful partisan fighter during the war, to destroy Clark's army. Brandt gathered together several hundred Mohawk, Shawnee, and Delaware warriors, and a detachment of British loyalists. Although their primary objective was to destroy Clark's army, the Indians following Brandt had little desire to try their luck against Clark, and they soon shifted their focus to easier targets. On August 24th, Brandt ambushed a unit of 100 men led by Colonel Archibald Lockery en route to reinforce Clark at Fort Nelson, and astonishingly killed or captured the entire force without incurring a single casualty. Brant's war party soon moved on to the settlements and murdered and pillaged the Kentuckians as Brant had previously done to those in the Mohawk Valley of New York. Clark raced east from Fort Nelson with 300 men, but the ever elusive Brant was on the trail heading north before Clark arrived. Once again, Clark was absent from the scene when Indian raiders hit Kentucky, and criticism began to mount against Clark. The criticism, perhaps legitimate, was that Clark, as commander of the Kentucky militia, was spending too much time conquering the West and not enough time defending the settlements. In late October, Kentuckians received the stunning news of the British surrender at Yorktown. Hopes were raised that the bloodshed in Kentucky was near its end, but those dreams would soon vanish. Next week, we will discuss Kentucky's bloody year of 1782. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.